Hello Earthlings and whoever else, welcome. I'm Kagan and this is Rocket Boom. In top stories, the first Captain China comic book has been released for the kitties. For the Kindle. According to Amazon, Captain China is a propaganda style comic series aimed at capturing the mainstream consciousness of China. We had a look. Freshly awoken from a cryogenic sleep, Captain China is a communist superhero created by Chairman Mao 50 years ago. And in this first edition, he actually saves Obama and thus the United States from catastrophic destruction. Clearly, the U.S. should be thankful and nice to China for this gracious deed. In the capital city of Facebook, stocks opened in the $27 range, nearing half the price of the initial offering a couple of weeks ago. What really happened here? More than likely, this is not so much the doing of the young Zuck, who remember showed up to Wall Street chillaxin', but Wall Street itself. People often forget the Nasdaq is a private company which competes fiercely against the Dow. The Dow would have loved to have had Facebook, and some investors have even considered the consequences of Facebook moving over to the Dow after the Nasdaq systems broke down on the big day, causing mass confusion and uncertainty for investors buying and selling. Never underestimate the powers of bankers. Why see yourself when Zuckerberg and Facebook are the easiest targets here? The U.S. secret National Reconnaissance Space Program decided to give NASA two telescopes it just had lying around, both of which are even more powerful than the Hubble. Originally created for spy missions, the government no longer had a use for them and thought, hey, let's do something peaceful for a change. NASA doesn't have the money to deal with them right now, but maybe Richard Branson does. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm going to call Elon Musk. No one's home. Anyway, you know the Hubble is riding the Earth's orbit right now, with a super clear view into the universe, unobstructed by the light of the Earth's atmosphere. But if you were to turn it towards Earth, it's so powerful you could read the date on this dime. So what I want to know is, if the US considers these powerful telescopes old jalopies, what the hell are they using? Finally, a revolutionary breakthrough in catch-up technology has emerged from Boston. To wit to woo, this new glass substance demonstrated here by students at MIT should not only help benefit the world in saving time, energy, and money when pouring multi-state condiments onto our sandwiches, it could help us save a significant amount of otherwise unattainable critical natural resources. To the internet from New York City, I'm Kegan and this is Rocket Boom.